and then WCW was coming over. We were wrestling for WCW, but we didn't have the contract where WCW owned our Japanese rights. So we were hired by the Japanese to come over, and we were considered Japanese talent. So when WCW came in, we were happy to see the American boys, but right away, Ricky Chosu comes in and says, Animal-san, Hawk-san, you Japanese talent, come over here. Took us in the Japanese locker room. Now, no guy gene ever dressed with the Japanese guys. So when Chosu called us over, you could just hear the rumblings of the American boys in the locker room. Then there was a situation that happened like two years before that, I guess when Hawk was dating his wife, Dale, they were just going out at the time. Hawk got up to use the restroom and Randy Savage had said something like, hey, why don't you let me, they're at a Japanese restaurant. He goes, why don't you let me crawl underneath that table and show you what the real man can do, you know? But nobody, and Dale never told Hawk that and, you know, because she didn't want to any, cause any trouble. And Hawk didn't know for two years, but finally his wife told him after they got married, she told him. So I know, I know it was eating up Hawk and Hawk told me when he was over there, he goes, that freaking savage comes over, I'm going to talk to him. So they started talking. You got to picture this. There's stairs going down. Hawk's standing like right here on one side of the stairs. And Savage is on right by the stairs going down. And Hawk's standing leaning against the railing. And Flair's already in the ring. Flair's the world champ. Savage is a challenger. So Savage was going to go second because he was going to give her a different pop than Flair, right? Flair was a heel. He was a baby face. Go second. So all I hear, and I'm standing right next to Hawk, I hear Hawk saying, so you call my old lady a liar? And and then Savage goes, yeah, I'm calling the douchebag a liar. And before he could finish the sentence, Hawk open hand Savage. Knocks Savage flat on his back. His glasses flew off his head. The cowboy hat went flying. Tassels got all messed up on his arm. And then Savage, you know, had to pop up and look aggressive in front of all the boys. Otherwise, he would look like a, pe- like a turd, you know? And Hawk goes, like, Hawk, you know, Hawk goes, yeah, I knew you had a chin like a girl. You know what I mean? So Savage was going to try to be a tough guy, and then Fujinami waist locked Savage and said no. Saito just said to Hawk, Hawk son, put his hand up. So Hawk stopped. He said, okay, Masa. Hawk said to Savage, he goes, I'll be waiting for you outside after this match. We'll see if you got the balls to come out. Hawk stood in the ring for 20 minutes after that match. Savage never came back there and went outside. Hawk came back in in front of everybody said, see, I knew you were a pussy. You didn't come outside, you freaking play. And that's what he said, though. That's what started that whole thing with Savage. And then Savage jumped on one time at a concert, I believe. And when the Hawk was taking the piss in the stall and Jap- jumped from behind, they got into a little, you know, tassel until the security guys came in and broke it up. So did that affect your standing in WCW after? Uh, no, not really. I mean, maybe a little bit. I mean, we were on the verge of, you know, getting a decent contract, but, you know, we wanted, there was a lot of business stuff going on. We really wanted to make them pay for the Japanese rights because we knew we were golden to them in Japan, right? you know, and uh, if you really wanted to keep us positive, you know, and we, we were, we couldn't work out the amount of days and then give up the Japanese rights. What was that worth? And, you know, and to be honest with you, we didn't like the price at the time. So we just said, okay, we'll keep it the way it is. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at the Hannibal TV for instant updates.